Hello, Spartacus214 here. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to how to use the new MS Paint on Windows 8. The this works for the original version or the Windows 8 8.1 service pack. Now First thing is, since you don't have, um, well, on the original version, you don't have, you know, the Windows 7 start menu. So, um, you can't just go to the start menu and go to, um, accessories and then paint like Windows 7 or before. What you gotta do is... As you can see, MetroView only has your basic programs because the idea is that it would, that instead of having the start menu, Windows 8 were, Windows 8 was made primarily for laptops and touchscreen computers and more than not for the smaller for small, the, the, you know, Windows 8 was designed for the new line of smaller computers that companies are now making. Like, this one is the Acer Aspire 1 2012 model, which, which is a, which is razor thin. Well, in laptop standards, it is, you know, very thin. And it's HD and the whole nine yards. But anyway, it was designed for these, you know, 12-inch computers. Now, the point is, see, to make MetroView can be, if you're unfamiliar with Windows 8, this can be a huge pain. Because you have to tediously scroll over here to your apps. But if you click this little button down here it zooms out so you know it's as easy to use as the you know the layout on the Android but anyway on the Metro view you can only see your basic programs and you know some other web-based apps and bullshit like that as well as the Windows Store but because of this I guess this was a um well Microsoft you know they thought that they would have made apps for paint instead of using MS Paint but it turned out that they that they decided they wanted to make a new MS Paint but they forgot to incorporate it into the default version of um, Metro or they forgot to automatically put it in Metro on you know everything that's pre-installed to your computer so in order to put it in Metro, what you have to do is, you know, if you, you know, if you're like really confused about Windows 8 from, you know, to the point where you, um, turn it on, which I'll show you, I'll put it to sleep so I can give you, um, you know, an in-depth guide from the moment you turn it on for some of you people who are really confused about Windows 8 and you know have trouble you know even getting to the Metro so what we're gonna do I'm waiting for the computer to go to sleep Now, the 
Let's try this. You want to wait till these little these two blue lights on your computer. You want to wait until one of them turns orange, and that means it's on standby. Let's see if it will. If it, there we go. Sometimes if your computer you know has installed some updates or you know if your your computer has been running a while and you've you know installed some updates it may take um a little while to do the standby or it may just go ahead and do a you know complete reboot now windows 8 is one of the fastest booting operating system in the world All right you know from the moment you, you touch the power button it only takes several seconds like no more than four seconds to get to the you know sign in screen now a lot of you might be confused about, you know, what to do when you get to that, you know, that that backdrop with the clock. All you got to do is, you know, pull it up. Or in the updated version of Windows 8, all you have to do is click on it. But you just put, put your username. Now, from here, we get to um, the Metro view, which is, the, is just like, you know, viewing apps on the Android, or it's just like the Android, inter or Android interface or Windows Mobile interface. But anyway, click, keep scroll, I mean, keep scrolling, um, you'll start over here from underneath where it says start. Now, just move your mouse towards this, towards, move, I'm sorry, move your mouse to the right of the screen. Just keep moving it until you see a tile that says desktop. Now what you wanna do is on your touchpad, click on the right right here. Now from here, you want to go to new. Now, when you go to bit to bitmap image, and now you want to right click bitmap image. And go to open with and see right here it says paint and now you're in MS paint um, the new version of Windows paint now what's new is these brushes here for example Let's start with a red color now. They have different intensities. For example, they have a brush that looks like this. And let's see. Like that. 
like this, like this, like this. And one of the best features is this brush that's sort of trans, it has like a transparent color. That means like if you have, you have something like blue, blue right here, you have a blue and then you go to say black. Now you can still, it's hard to tell with this, um, camera but but the black color is not you know the intensity is not all the way through I can still see some of the blue behind the black and that and that's one of the major updates to Windows Paint now with this one you can see better see cuz look I can color over I don't know how well you can see that but as you can see you can still see some of the red in the background now this one is really light and you can tell here that you can really you know see the red in the background and watch we can do some orange now, as you can see with the orange, you can still see the. You can still see black and red in the background. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And also, you have the sizes up here. And you have some new shapes, too. Like this arrow. I mean, sorry. This arrow. Arrow. I mean. Arrow, arrow, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you have some new shapes like an arrow or a star. Well, you've always had, always had it, but anyway. Um, you have this little dot bubble. Here, I'll do a black one so you can see it. Two what? Dot bubble or have this other shape oh and you even have more shapes like this you have a lightning symbol well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use MS Paint this is Sparkus214 I'm signing out